so kids, if you're watching, come on over to the screen because I've got a message for you. And this week, this all this week, we've been talking and thinking about Jesus showing himself, right? Showing himself to us, as Pastor Johnson's going to talk to us about. And we're going to hear after the birthdays in our reading about one of the ways that Jesus showed himself to us. Jesus showed his power and his authority to the people. We're going to hear that reading soon. But I brought something to kind of uh, think about that a little bit more and to think about what does power mean? What does authority mean? What does power mean? So I brought something that you probably will recognize. You probably have one of these at home, right? Um, this is a remote. This is a remote for my TV. So what happens when I press this red button at the top, right? Has the power symbol on it. The TV turns on and the TV turns off. So it gives me the power to turn on the TV when I'm not standing near it. So I can be away from it. I don't have to touch the TV. All I have to do is touch this red button, right? It gives me the power to do that. But um, what is authority then? I mean, here we have the remote has a battery inside and it sends a signal and the power goes on on the TV. But what is authority? Well, authority is kind of like the person who's turning on and off the TV. So when your parents come into the room and they say, it's time to turn off the TV, it's time to go to bed, that is authority, right? They have the authority, the knowledge to, to take the remote, to know which buttons to press, to know how to control the TV, to turn it off. So Jesus had both the power and the authority to do many things, to perform miracles, to teach the people about God, and to heal people. And in the reading that we're going to hear soon, Jesus casts out a demon from a man who is possessed, who has this evil spirit living inside of him. And he had the power to do that, but his power doesn't come from a battery, right? His power doesn't come from even the wall when you plug something in, like your TV. His power came from God. So the power he had was from God, and the authority he had, the ability to do to use that power, was also from God. And he used that power for good. He uses that power for the good of you and the good of me when he died on the cross for our sins. So when we hear this reading and listen to how Jesus uses his power and authority, help, we, it helps us to remember that God uses his authority and his power for our good, to rescue us from evil and from sin. Let's fold our hands and pray about that. Dear Lord, thank you so much for sending your Son with the power and authority to rescue us, to take care of us, to heal us, and to keep us safe from all evil. Help us to look to him for guidance and direction and wisdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.